Way up in the sky, the little birds fly. Way down in the nest, the little birds rest. With a wing on the left and a wing on the right, the little birds sleep all through the night. Shh, they're sleeping. The bright sun comes up, the dew falls away. Good morning, good morning, the little birds say. Good morning on this uh, Saturday, March the 28th, and I'm so happy to be with you this morning for our Breakthrough Prayer Moment. That was a camp song that we used to wake up to, our morning devotions, and today is one of those days. We're going to take, start out with our Breakthrough Prayer verse of 1 John 5.14, which says, Now, this is the confidence that we have in God. That if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Let's pray. God, quiet our hearts. Help us to listen. Show us your will. Guide us to your, your preferred future. Amen. And this morning we're going to continue our devotionals from Renewed by the Living Water our Lenten devotional for Tunnel and Warren Chapel this year. And this one's entitled, I Found It. And the verse this morning to focus on is from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone. A new life has begun. And Teresa Pugh from Northport, Alabama, shares this in this morning's devotional. As a teenager, I remember being handed a button to wear by my youth pastor. It simply said, I found it. No one had explained to me what this meant because I had found what everyone was ultimately looking for when I found Jesus. My thirsty soul had tasted of the living water. God had done a new thing in my heart and my search for meaning was over. And as people asked me what I had found, I was able to share the living water with them. With every, within every person, there is a God-shaped vacuum that only Jesus can fill. Only he can quench the desires of the spiritual, spiritually thirsty soul. We try to quench the thirst with all kinds of things this world suggests will satisfy our deepest longings. But we will come up dry every time, only to find ourselves thirstier still. That is, until we drink of the living water that never runs dry. And when God does this new thing and makes us new creatures, and the resurrected Savior pierces the darkness and brings to life the dead soul, the search is over. Only Jesus can satisfy the soul. And since I found it, I found myself unable to keep it to myself. Like having the cure for cancer, how could I not share this living water with my world? Let's pray. Lord, our thirst is for you. May we never look to anything or anyone else for what only you can give. Amen. And now let us pray together our breakthrough prayer for Tunnel and Warren Chapel here in the year 2020. What's next, Papa? What dream do you have for me that only you can fulfill? What dream do you have for my church that only you can fulfill? Let me see the new possibilities you have for me to share this, my story about you just like Teresa did today, so I can reach new people and make new disciples for Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Let all of us here at Tunnel and Warren Chapel see the new possibilities you have for us to reach new people and to make new disciples for Jesus Christ. In this year of 2020, give us 2020 vision so that we may see the people in our church and community through your eyes so that we may be moved to action as Jesus was. Speak, Lord, 
Your servants are listening. Keep your hearts and your minds open as you go into the world today, this new day. For many of us, we're locked into our homes or stepping outside just for a walk or to walk the dog. But in the midst of all of it, remember that Jesus loves you. 